Now, the uh, last one I'm going to talk about is Mihai, Chiksen Mihai. Okay, so um, that's the idea of flow. Uh, you heard this before. So everybody know about flow? Most people do, probably, right? So flow is this, this mental state that you are sort of totally immersed in what you do. And you, you're, you're good at that, and you, you feel great. You kind of forget about food, and, and you forget about hunger. You forget about tiredness. When I'm solving a really math, difficult math problem, I often go into flow. Okay? Because, and Trix and Mihai also characterize the condition that's necessary to go into flow is that your the skill, that, uh, that, sorry, the challenge that you face has to match a skill that you have. Right? If it's, if it's a little bit kind of it's, it's too challenging, then you get worried, you get anxious. Right? Uh, if this, the, the task is like, too easy, then you get bored. Right, and you, you don't want that either. Um, so, and and so flow is somewhat kind of in this kind of fine line between like control and also boredom. Right, we love to be in, in, in sort of in control of things, but if things get too much in control, then we we kind of feel it's bored. It, it's, it's not interesting anymore. Right. So, um, so likewise for arousal and worry. Right. So, one of the interesting thing about flow is that like over time, people acquire skill. Right? Their skill increases over time. Right? And that's why game mechanics is usually not enough. You need like game dynamic in some way. Right? So, so tip, since we are motivated by challenges, interesting things, and, and variety, and new things, um, we pick a task that's more challenging. Right? And, and if you pick it right, then we'll move back into flow. But in reality, in real life, at workplaces, it's really hard to pick a task that's just right to move us back to flow. Usually, we pick a task that's either too easy, and yeah, so it still looks kind of boring, right? Or they're maybe a little too hard, right? So if it's like this, just a little bit too hard, then it's probably OK. Because we, you know, we just have to learn a little bit of stuff, learn a little, acquire a little more skill, then we quickly move back to flow. But typically in the world, what would happen is that we pick a task that's way too hard, or you've been assigned to a task that's way too hard, right? So you have to have this steep learning curve before you get back to the flow, all right? That's why uh, good gamification and game dynamic have to adapt and evolve with the player.